On December 31st, 2019, a cluster of cases of pneumonia were reported in Wuhan, China. Soon after this, the outbreak was classified as a novel or new coronavirus. No, no, it has nothing to do with limes or beaches or plasma auras. This is a new strain of virus not previously found in humans. Coronavirus is a large family of viruses that cause illnesses in humans. The symptoms have a wide range, from things like colds to more severe diseases. They are common around the world, with more well-known known instances being MERS and SARS. SARS, or Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, was made famous around 2003 when a similar outbreak occurred. In the end, over 8,000 people were infected with about 800 dying due to the virus or related complications. Deaths caused by the virus are usually related to symptoms like pneumonia, other respiratory issues, and kidney failure. These coronaviruses are known for their ability to spread quickly from person to person through all sorts of measures. Person -to person contact, nose and throat secretions, or even touching a surface that the virus is present on. So are we at risk of contracting this new affliction? Let's talk this through. Hello fellow friends and philosophers, and welcome back to the most mind-bending channel on YouTube, Life's Biggest Questions. I'm your voice in the void, Keegan Hughes, and today we're tackling one of the most pressing questions of the past little while. Should we be worried about the coronavirus? Before we begin, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more of the latest. Wicked. Let's get started. In order to know if you should be worried, we should probably run down the list of people who are currently at risk. We have a wide and varied viewership, so your exposure to the virus may vary by geography. Currently, the greatest risk is in the capital of China's Hubei province, Wuhan. Anyone who has visited Wuhan within 14 days of symptom onset should immediately seek medical assistance. Wuhan is the center of it all right now, with the Chinese government restricting travel in all areas surrounding it. Currently, 12 cities near the outbreak have been placed under travel lockdown, which basically prevents 35 million people from roaming. This restriction is happening during the celebration of the Lunar New Year holiday, which is typically the busiest travel season. All sorts of folks are not able to travel to visit family and ring in the new year, which is causing a fair deal of agitation. As the outbreak progresses, lots of people are at risk in China. Some doctors are predicting that the outbreak could last for months, with many medical professionals gearing up for a whole lot of work. Currently, the health systems are under extreme burden, with hospitals operating at peak capacity, even turning away patients showing symptoms. There have been urgent calls for supplies, as medical essentials like masks and gloves are in short supply. In addition to the risk to the population, China's economy also stands to take a hit. With so many people essentially quarantined and supplies remaining unshipped, it's hard for life to continue as usual in the region. Businesses are being shut down in the meantime, with Shanghai's Disneyland experiencing one of the more prolific suspensions of service. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out after the virus has been contained. Now, if you're living outside of China, the risk is significantly lower. There have been instances of the virus detected in Vietnam, Singapore, Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, Thailand, and the United States, but they've all been contained and are nowhere near the severity of cases in China. The British and American governments have urged travelers to avoid Wuhan and surrounding areas, advising people against all but essential travel to the area. Currently, there haven't been any recorded transferences of the disease between people outside of China, but we'll have to wait and see how that develops. Viruses like this pose the biggest risk to already frail individuals, young children, the elderly, and people with previously existing medical issues. It's not extremely likely that this will spread and become a worldwide pandemic. Medical professionals and governments are working to contain all instances. Even if it spreads further than it already has, there are measures we can take to mitigate the negative effects. Standard practices to prevent exposure and transmission of illnesses should be followed. So wash your hands often, cover your coughs and sneezes, clean your working surfaces, don't share food and drink, and just stay home if you're sick. So yeah. We should remain aware and alert in dealing with the coronavirus, but unless you're in the heart of the outbreak, it shouldn't be considered a major threat. In the meantime, send your support to the people in China battling against this dangerous virus and put your trust in the medical professionals dealing with it. What do you think? Will it spread further or will the good folks keeping it contained succeed? Let me know what you're thinking down in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.